Let me first and foremost ask our friend Nico to come up here. And what I want to do is um, present, I want to ask Ponce to come up here. I want to give uh, El Maestro um, uh, two little gifts that we brought from Chicago. One gift is a photo. This photo is just before the attack on Blair House. It was taken here in New York, and Griselio Torresola is there. So, uh, Griselio is the most handsome of all the people that are there. Then there's a man by the name of Escute Quiñones, a black Puerto Rican, who many of you may not have known or heard about, a lifelong nationalist, who lived in New York, was part of the Merchant Marine, and was married to Maria Aurora Torresola, the cousin of Vicente Torresola. And here he is. So, it is through the work of this man that I came to get a lot of resources on the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party. And I'm talking to you about the period of 1972-73. And this is from one of his uh, works that he, one of the photos that he gave me. So this is a gift to you and for here for my esta bandera que es una bandera hecho por un joven en no the other way, the other way. Oh, you know. yes. este es un jovencito ya un poquito más viejo pero este muchacho es un fue un pandillero líder de una de las pandillas en Chicago Y digo esto porque él es uno de los grandes pintores hoy en día en Chicago. Cuando el compañero Ponce habló de la importancia de la juventud, este jovencito se ha dedicado a crear murales y él creó este escudo y esta bandera para el Paseo Boricua, que ustedes saben tiene las dos banderas más grandes del mundo hechas en acero. Así es que esta es la bandera del Paseo Boricua y el hombre ya se como el número 79. Así que te lo despego para que la tenga aquí. Ok. Gracias Ponce por el trabajo que realizan. Para mí este, este trabajo es sumamente importante. Let me just say that the work that the maestro does here is extremely important because you may not know this, but in the country of Guinea-Bissau, there were two brothers. One of them was Amica Cabral, one of the great leaders of the African Revolution. And Amica Cabral, in 1953, decides that he has to confront the Portuguese who were controlling Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is this little country in the western part of North, Northwest Africa, part of the Portuguese Empire. And what he did was that he organized a football, which is really a soccer team, called, made up of all Africans. And so he started to do this sports league and in 1953, this is the first all-black league of soccer team that defeats the Portuguese. Now just think about it. Every time 
the United States is confronted by Puerto Rico in any of the Olympics, think what Puerto Ricans do, right? Even the most ardent state will. Imagine what happened when an all-African soccer team defeated Portugal. And that created, by the way, it created the first movement that all African football team became the party that led the struggle that ultimately led to the independence of Guinea Bissau. So just think about that in relationship to sports and obviously in Puerto Rico where boxing is really the number one sports, not baseball, boxing. And Puerto Rico has had some of the most incredible boxers in the world and some of the most conscious boxers in the world. So it's in that tradition that El Maestro continues that work and I want to congratulate Ponce for this wonderful work.